Hey guys, it's Kenton. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm in Hawaii with the family this week, but on my five hour plane right here, I did have a chance to finish some videos that I had been working on over the last few weeks. One being my trip to Impact Tech, where Juan took me through the manufacturing process of them building not just the Grom rear sets and 12 bars, but some of the other uh, stunt cages and crash cages that they make for a whole bunch of different bikes. It's a very interesting and impressive manufacturing process that they've got. So I'm gonna cut straight to Juan there at Impact Tech. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through the Impact Tech manufacturing facility. It's about a 10,000 square foot warehouse, state of the art, everything inside. And this is where every product that we manufacture gets made. Everything's made here in the, in the USA. We do not outsource anything from any other country. So we never have to worry about back orders or our products being stuck in ships or anything of that sort. So yeah, let's walk through this. So the warehouse is pretty much broken down into three sections. You have our inventory section where we have all our raw material. You have our welding section where everything that needs to get welded gets welded and fabricated. And then you have a machine shop where all of our billet aluminum components get manufactured. Um, first thing we're gonna run through is uh, the machine shop because anything that we sell for the Grom is gonna be billet aluminum. So it's only gonna be ran through these CNC Haas machines. So right now we have these Haas fifth axle machines actually machining the most important part of the rear set, which is gonna be the main base plate. So this is the main base plate of the Honda rear set. So you have your left and you have your right. Uh, right now the machine's only making the lefts, but as you can see, this machine pretty much cuts everything precisely to ensure that every single rear set that leaves our facility fits your Grom 100% perfectly. As you can see, this is like the third operation of this Grom rear set. So essentially what this machine is doing right now, it's cutting the outer aluminum, the excess aluminum from the rear set. Um, and then it's gonna make it into the piece that we just showed you right now. But yeah, these machines are running 24 hours a day, six days a week, they only take one day rest to ensure that we always have parts in stock and that we're never on a bad board or anything of that sort. Now let's show you like the raw process of the material. Cause a lot of times people don't understand that when you make a billet component, it's actual solid billet aluminum. So when we receive the product, the bars come in these full length uh, billet aluminum bars. This is the bandsaw that pretty much cuts them. Once you get this block cut into whatever size you'd like, then you go ahead and put it into your CNC machine and pretty much enter the machine to whatever program or design you want. And then you'll get the final product. Um, do you want to cut a piece of it so you can kind of see? Yeah. We'll dump it in this water, get all that excess shaving out, and then you're left with a solid piece of billet aluminum. This billet aluminum is going to be the main piece of the rear set. Again, it takes a really expensive machine to cut everything through. But yeah, a really good example here is like a step plate. So these are the Grom step plates. So once we enter the machining, this will be like stage two. And then again, we'll just enter another machine and it'll pretty much cut everything off. But yeah, um, something we have that are not a lot of other companies have is this APL, which is an automatic part loader. So on the weekends when we're off, we can fill up this entire table with pieces of aluminum in here. And this machine will solely pick up the part, open up the machine, load the machine, close the machine, start running the part consecutively for 24 hours a day without any human touching it. So this is great because you don't gotta pay the machine overtime or anything, and it runs on the weekend, so parts are still being made, even if we're not working on Sundays. This right here is gonna be our Haas lathe, and every single part gets manufactured in here that's a Delrin puck, a peg, anything round. Um, a lot of competitors, they don't have machinery like this, so what they do is they'll cut everything by hand, and they'll have small mills to see and see it, even to our Delrin puck. So this is like a Delrin puck for a crash cage. Get CNC through this machine, meaning that it's a precise fitment. So anytime you try inserting it into a cage or into a car, it's always gonna fit 100%. And it already has pre-slotted uh, holes for the, for the hardware. Um, it does take a lot more time to make this. 
Um, there's an easy way to just buy these in masses, uh, but the, the fit is not going to be right. You're always going to have to be shaving stuff down. So we're like, hey, you know what? We're going to do everything right. Uh, we want to make sure our customers are fully satisfied. So we go the extra step to always ensure that that's the case. All of our fillet pegs get made here. See, uh, look at this beautiful machining. And we do offer all of our aluminum parts in either raw or in black. Um, a good thing is if you want to powder coat it like a really you know, crazy color or a color to match your bike or whatever the case may be, order the raw and get it custom powder coated. If you don't, you can order the anodized black for a very small fee. We charge $30 for most anodized parts um, and you'll get a really nice black that isn't going to fade. It's done through a company called Danko. Um, Danko, you have to have a specific license, a big relationship with them to even have an account with them open, you know? A lot of other shops will dip their stuff in like buckets or their own little custom anodizing setup. We do it the right way always. So this is going to be our Impact Tech crash gauge for a 2013 to 2023 Kawasaki ZX-XR. And I kind of want to give you a rundown of how we make things. So we're the first company in the world to offer a fully automated crash cage. And essentially what that means is every single component on this crash cage is made by machine, meaning the motor mounts are CNC to have a precise cut. The tubes are cut by a plasma cutter to ensure that the notching and the length is perfect. Um, even down to the welds, the welds are welded by a state-of-the-art robotic arm welder that welds everything to make the welds just look absolutely seamless. Look how beautiful those welds are. So, essentially, what we start off with first is we have raw tubing, right? So we'll get these large sticks of tubing, um, raw, and then we'll insert them through this plasma cutter. Once they go in through this plasma cutter, the plasma cutter will start to cut them, uh, essentially like a Lego. So, this plasma cutter will start to cut all the tubing. It'll come out. It'll come out, either it be a, 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 a short tube, a long tube, whatever the case may be. Then we'll move over, over to our CNC bender. We'll come to this part of the warehouse. We'll have somebody here bend everything precise. This is a mandrel bend bender, so every degree is a precise fit. Once it's, once it's on here, we have all these bins with already pre-cut motor mounts. So for instance, if we want to build a 2017 S1000 and we need a motor mount build, boom, done. Look at that machining on there. Beautiful. You know, if we want an FZ09, which is probably one of our most popular bikes, boom, we got them. Just come in here and grab them. So we have about $300,000 worth of inventory and raw material ready to be welded like that. So if you place an order with us and it's raw, You'll probably receive it within three to four business days from the day that you ordered it because we do offer free shipping on anything over a hundred dollars once we grab all the parts that we need for that specific cage we'll come over here to the jigs um we'll have one of the welders put all the pieces in here as you can see like this is a piece that will go in there it just fits perfectly um he'll tack weld everything and then we move over to our robotic welding arm the robotic welding arm weld every single weld so this machine unfortunately we can't start it right now because the operators the operator is in here it's a pretty big piece of machinery uh but it's a seven axis robot which means it can turn in ways that will scare you like the joints on this thing are pretty pretty crazy if you see it running at full speed um this this table will turn 360 as well and again every single weld on there is going to be done by this robotic welding arm so yeah that's pretty much how a one of our crash cages, steel sub cages, or race rails gets manufactured. This is going to be our inventory room. Now, in the stunt scene, it's pretty rare to have any company have any of these products in stock. The majority of the time, you have to order it, and then it's a custom-made product. It might take you know six, ten weeks, whatever the case may be. Now, Impact Tech USA, we always have about a quarter million dollars worth of inventory in stock. Right now, it's just tax season, so our stock kind of got um, eaten up. But don't worry, we're already on our, uh, working on it, trying to make new stuff for our inventory. But essentially, it's broken down into four categories. So you have the Kawasaki side. This is all ZX6R, Z650. You have the Yamaha side, FZ09, FZ07, R6, R7. Um, you have the Suzuki side, all your Jixer stuff, uh, GSX-S, 750, GSX-S, 1000. And then 
Last but not least, you have all your Honda stuff, FRI, CBR, you know. Um, we pretty much have every year make a model on our website. If we don't make a crash case for your bike, sorry to tell you, but nobody does. <laughs> like, if we don't have it, you know, there's not gonna be a company that makes it. Now to the second part of the shipping warehouse, we have our lever station. So when you guys order a Impact Tech Easy Pull Clutch Lever, you can get it in a variety of colors, red, gold, blue, purple, green, black. Um, I'm sure there's many more, but everything gets made here. And essentially it's a three piece lever. So you have the lever, the perch and the clamp. So most people, what they do is they'll go ahead and be like, Hey, I want a gold lever, you know, a four inch lever. We'll come in here. You got, you got the lever, you got the perch and you got the clamp and you're good to go. You know, you have bearings and hardware that we won't get into. But let's say you know you want a really crazy color or something unique you, on the on our website you have the option to pick hey i want a blue lever and i want a purple perch and i want a black clamp you know like whatever design you want you can go on the website select it and we'll build it everything's built to order um the guy that we have building the levers it's only one person he built every lever and he has a tolerance spec that has to be met so every single lever he builds is to our specification perfect these are all like our anodizing parts that came back. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we only offer raw and black. So you can see this is how the black looks. Super nice. And we only charge $30 for the black and whatever component you get with the exception of the lever. The lever, there's no charge for colors. But yeah, you got crossbar here. All of our crossbars are like our adjustable sub cages have engravings with our logos. Um, we have all of our Grom 12 bar, like this is like a step plate for the Grom, ready to go. I think right now we might have around 50 uh, Grom 12 bars and rear sets in stock. Um, and then we have a couple dealers like Steady Garage who also carries our stuff and you can order from them if you're already ordering parts for your Grom. You know, they do offer super uh, quick shipping and stuff. Um, and then yeah, just, oh, this is for you Ken. So you see how I was mentioning that we have to, with, when it comes to powder coating, this has to stay aluminum, because if it doesn't, then if there's powder coating in there, it's the other thing. yeah the other piece won't fit in there. So this is why we don't offer our grown stuff and powder coating. The only exception we make is with like our sponsors because we want them to have a loud color. So if you do order something on Sega Garage or on our website, you either can choose raw, which is bare aluminum, or you can choose anodized black. And if you want to powder coat it, go with the raw option and get it powder coated. Just be assured to let your powder coater know that you do have to take the Delrin pucks off because they're plastic and they're going to burn in the oven um, and ensure that everything gets taped up really, really well. So another big thank you to Juan and Impact Tech for taking me through their manufacturing process. I've actually got a pretty cool collaboration coming up with these guys. So anyway, thank you everybody very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.